Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Weekly Window Talk with Sammy the Window Girl. Today we are discussing mullions and combinations. So first, let me go ahead and take a minute to introduce myself. Um, My name is Sammy. I go by Sammy Windows because I have my own window series called the Sammy Window. And I have been in the window industry Well, okay, I'm going to be 45 years old this December, and I started working in a factory on the south side of Chicago pretty much since the day that I was born. So I am second-generation window maker, um, and I've been, I don't know, so making windows is my life, serving my life purpose. So I started a podcast series, and every week I have a different topic that I talk about. So um, right now we're doing our vinyl window series. We started out with this. Um, Today is about mullions and combinations. So mullion, a mullion means putting two windows together to create a combination. So the windows can be, let's say um, you have an opening and you want to put two double hung windows side by side. That is a twin double hung unit combination. Those windows are mold together of mold kits and two different ways that you can mold the windows. So, and you have to check with your manufacturer. And I say that every week because There's probably 500 plus window manufacturers in the United States and um, you have to really just check with each and individual window manufacturer. And I do urge people to shop locally in their regions or in their areas or at least privately owned businesses to keep America going and, and, you know, utilize the workforce. Um, I'm in 14 states. I am a woman-owned business, so I am a minority, but I didn't use that to my advantage getting business. If you want to know the truth, I've just been, it's always been hard work. I directly service 14 states, and I have 230 locations. I am a wholesaler. I do these podcasts because I want to educate people about the window industry and how to properly order windows and what it's all about because you know, we're in a fast society now and, you know, even, even homeowners or end, end users and consumers, you know, should listen to the podcast when they have questions about, you know, doing their own homework when it's uh, coming down to purchasing windows, you know, I feel as though it's part of my job in the industry to give back and educate the people. Okay, so the two different types of mullion kits, one is called an h and that would also be used as a field mull. So an H mull is basically just what it says it is. It's, an, it's a vinyl piece, um, could be made out of other materials. It is a piece of extrusion in the building industry that is in the shape of an H. Therefore, fitting in between one window to another in order to screw them together or to fasten them together to make a double or a twin or a triple unit uh, combination. Um, Now, typically with the H mall, though, you have to consider that that's a quarter inch in the vinyl industry. And again, it could differ. You have to check with your materials that you're using, if it's wood, if it's aluminum, if it's vinyl. And factor in for your opening size, what your allowance would be when using H mullions or mullions in general for an application, making a combination. The only time that you would use a mullion is to fuse two windows together. It can be a round top unit over a double hung. 
It can be a round top unit over a stationary or a picture window, a non-operating window, or it can be an operating window. And a, a triple mullion would be, let's say, for a good example, well, they use them in bays and bows, um, would be a picture window in the middle with uh, two double hung flankers, it's called, on the side. Um, you could even do that with casement units or a four light, five light casement unit. Um, you know, that all of those, all of those, any combination requires you to use a mullion in order to fuse the windows together. Now, the other type of application that you can use when you're talking about mullions is a zero mull strip, okay? And we're going to talk about this first, and then we're going to go on to what's the difference between field mull and factory mulling is, and what are those options there. So a zero mullion strip, again, is exactly what they named it. It is a strip for the front and a strip for the back that basically aligns the two windows together when you're fastening together, but you don't want to have any allowance for, let's say, an H mull. So a zero mullion strip is just two strips. Go ahead and basically complete the mullion like a finishing piece. Um, what I... What I sell is I sell factory mold units, okay? So a zero mullion strip makes sense for my products, which means zero allowance when you're dealing with opening size measurements, okay? So for me, it just gives a cleaner look and it's cost effective. And, you know, I'm all about cost efficiency here. And so let's say, you know, you need two double hung windows in the front of a house replaced. Your window installer comes out and says, okay, this is a twin double hung unit. Your installer has an option, at least from my window line, to either choose a factory mold unit or a field mold unit. Now, sometimes you have no choice but to field mold. And that would be if you're doing an extremely large opening and it's a shipping restraint because, you know, I mean, I, can, I ship on semi-trucks, but I still could have limitations as far as the overall dimensions of the product, depending on what it is that project that I'm doing at the time. So I do projects all over the United States. People call me as a consultant for me to work on. They literally call me as a consultant to work on one project at a time with them. Like I just did a historical project in Pennsylvania and I worked on that for 18 months and it was, you know, I do historical windows also applications, but in any event, I'm all about efficiency and I like to pass that information on to the window installers, uh, you know, and also the homeowner. And the reason why is because when the factory molds the units together and we can ship them that way, which most of the time we can for residential, there's been a few instances where I could only ship a partial mall and then the third or fourth window had to be, no, it'd be the third window would have to be um, field mold, which means the window installer has to do it on the job site. I like factory mold because it saves a lot of time and energy and it, ha it has accuracy. You know, when the windows are made at the window factory at the manufacturing plant, you know, they're made on a squaring table. And so everything it has precise calculations down to the eighth of an inch, okay? An eighth of an inch is basically as thick as a, as a piece of hair. But in the building industry, that's a, that's a big deal, an eighth of an inch, okay? You can lose a deal over a quarter of an inch shadow line, depending on what kind of building or project that you're working on. So the reason why I like the factory mall, not only that, as far as cost savings, anytime you have a man or a woman, uh, we're going to say any skilled person that's a laborer, labor costs a lot of money. And the more experienced you are doing your job in the field, the more that your pay goes up, right? Because you're paying for your expertise in the, in the business, in the, in the field. 
the knowledge, and your time that you're overseeing that job because you have a great reputation as a window installer, and people highly recommend you because, you know, you move with the purpose and you, you're good at what you do, would educate the homeowner that, you know, it's in your best interest to, to have the factory mullet together. It makes my job easier. I'm not paying for that extra time for it to be field mold. But again, if you can, if your only choice is to field mold, well, you know, sometimes the project just calls for that kind of a budget. But that does need to be a factor because Anytime, again, with, you know, people have to understand when you're doing window replacement, you're, you're booking a whole crew for, for the length of the period of the installation. You know, you have to run electricity. You have to deal with building permits. You're dealing with building materials. I mean, it's, you have to have a whole crew with if you're doing a project, you know. Now, the do-it-yourselfers, the ones that want to just buy one window and install it themselves, you know, that's a different story, but that's another reason why I make these podcasts is if you did want to go ahead and do a, a do it yourself project over a weekend and install a combination window in your opening, these are your choices. And I would highly recommend getting a factory mall. It saves time. It has more accuracy. It has a cleaner look and it's overall just an easy win, win, win for everybody. So, you know, you save, you save on everything there. So um, that's basically what our show is for today, our podcast for today. Um, if anybody wants to have me discuss a certain window topic, feel free to either call me or email me, and I can be reached at area code 630-487-8312. That's area code 630 630- Four eight seven eight three one two. Um, I am in. The, I am based out of the Midwest, Chicago, Illinois. Um, so my office hours are eight a.m. to four o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday. You can email me at buy from Sammy at yahoo dot com. That's b u y f r o m s a m m y at yahoo dot com. If you are in the following states and you want to set up your own distributorship, I am a building supplier. I am a national wholesaler. You do have to be in the trade in order to set up a wholesale account with me. So if you are a, in you know, real estate investor, carpenter, construction, anything in the building industry or maintaining a building, Um, I can supply you with vinyl windows, wood windows, aluminum windows, commercial windows, historical windows. Um, The states that I primarily service um, is east of the Mississippi, which is Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Michigan, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Baltimore, Maryland, New York, um, St. Louis, Missouri, Florida, uh, those are the areas that I'm primarily known in. I do do, I do consulting work, um, and I love to work with anybody in the window industry on any kind of a project. You can also say, hey, Alexa, play weekly window talk with Sammy the Window Girl. These podcasts are downloaded and then uploaded to Blog Talk Radio, Spreaker.com, and iTunes. We will be back next week with another show topic. Again, if you have something you want me to discuss, you can find me on Facebook under Sammy Nelson, Sammy Windows, on LinkedIn under Sammy Nelson, Sammy Windows, and also Google+. Plus. So everybody have a great week. And again, I appreciate everybody's downloads, listening, and positive feedback and comments. See you next week.